Hello and welcome. Today I'm introducing the new color palette challenge for the month of March and I'll be sharing a few cards made with the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 sketches and the new March bonus printable. <laughs> This is the color cube by Sarah Renee Clark. She created these color palettes and gave us permission for us to use these for the monthly color challenges. I have volume one and volume two, and this is box number one, and it contains 250 different color combinations. And this is the color palette that we used for January, and on the back it shows the names of the colors, along with the color hex code. And then this one here with the bright colors was the palette for February. And then the one for March is number 029. This is the color palette for March and it has two shades of green, Hunter Green and Kelly Green, along with Ghost White, Ash Gray, and Gold. So with pa St. Patrick's Day being in March, I thought this would be a good color combination to use this month. If you're new to my channel and not familiar with the color challenge, it's where you can create any project using the colors in the color palette and then just post a photo of your project in the color challenge album in my Facebook group, Kendra's Card Challenges, and this is for a chance to win a prize. It can be a card, a scrapbook page, a journal, really anything that you'd like as long as you use the colors in the palette. And it does not have to be a project using one of the sketches from my quarterly sketch challenge. I will link Sarah's website in the description box below if you'd like to check out the color catalog or purchase the color cubes to get some color inspiration for your projects. Now, If you use Copic markers, Spectrum Noir, or Ohuhu markers, here are the colors that are similar to the colors in the palette. So you may want to take a screenshot or make a note so you can refer back to it if you'd like to color your images. I hope you'll join in on the color challenge this month. So now it brings me to introduce the March of 2024 bonus printable available for download now by paid patrons of the Kendra's Card Challenges Patreon membership program. This month's bonus is a set of 13 digital pattern papers, images, and sentiments all designed to match the colors in the color palette. So here I'm showing the papers that are included and they print on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. So I'll be cutting these down to six by six, but there's some shamrocks in both Hunter and Kelly green, a yellow plaid pattern, a dot pattern on ghost white, this raindrop pattern on a Kelly green background, an argyle pattern with the colors in the color palette, the stripe pattern in both greens, shamrocks and gold coins on a white background, this herringbone pattern in both greens, and then the, there's this pattern with the daisies, and I think this one's my favorite. And then here's another pattern with daisies on a green background. Now, I printed this originally with the background being hunter green, but I didn't like how dark it came out, so I did change it to the Kelly green color. So when you print it out, it won't look like this. And then there's two checkered patterns, a green and a yellow one. And just like last month, I included a page with four scenes that can be cut down to use as a background on your cards. And this one is of a forest with the green colors and some yellows in it. I've also included some St. Patrick's Day sentiments, but there's some others that say good luck, best of luck, you can do it, and I love you. And I have also included some images this time. There are some leprechauns. There's four different leprechaun designs, plus a couple of gnomes, a shamrock, a couple of pots of gold, a leprechaun hat, a horseshoe, a daisy and a daisy cluster in a circle, a rainbow uh, in the colors of the color palette, and then a daisy in a pot. But these were designed to coordinate with the papers. You could also use the papers to make some masculine cards if you don't wanna make any St. Patrick's Day cards. Now I've printed these onto some semi-gloss 80 pound card stock using my HP Color Jet laser printer. And I changed the settings so that it prints slower by selecting glossy card stock under the media quality setting. It's important that you change these settings so that it will print properly. Now, these print nicely on regular cardstock too, but I really like how the semi-gloss paper makes the colors look really vibrant. So I cut all the papers down to six inches by six inches, and I used my brother's scan and cut to cut most of the sentiments and images out. The only ones that I didn't have my scan and cut machine cut out were the circle shaped ones. I used circle punches to cut those out and on the printable when I printed it out, the one with the leprechaun hat, it got cut off on the edge, so that's why I didn't have the machines cut it out. But I scooted it over so it won't print that way for you. 
And then for the good luck circle, I guess because I have the white lines between each of the green colors, the machine wanted to separate and cut each line out. So I just had it skip this image on my scan and cut and then I uh, used a three and a, or a three inch circle punch, I believe. And for the one with the shamrocks, I used a two inch circle punch for the rectangle piece that has happy St. Patrick's day in a banner. I did cut this out with my paper trimmer since I didn't have a rectangle border around it at that point, but it is now added. So all of that will be on your printable, but I cut out all of the leprechauns and gnomes pretty good with my scan and cut. Since there are 12 different patterns of paper that can be used with my current quarterly card challenge number 13, I decided to cut two different sets of papers. So off camera, all of my papers were cut according to the cutting templates and they were sorted into 15 different cellophane bags. And rather than having 30 bags, I just put both sets for each of the 15 sketches into the same bag. That way I'll have more options when I go to put the cards together and I can mix and match some of these patterns. I also selected a few different colors of heavyweight cardstock for my card bases, black, green, yellow, and white. So I have those card bases in the bags, as well as the cut layers that each of the sketches call for according to the measurements on the printable. Here's a brief look at the cutting guides from my challenge number 13 printable. If you're watching this video between now and March 31st of 2024, this printable is free to download over on my Patreon page, which I will have linked below. You'll see that it is color coded and it has circled numbers in each of the pieces that correspond with the different sketches. It also has scissors to indicate where you'll need to make your first cut on each of the papers. And there's also arrows that show which direction that that piece faces on the card sketch. And this is important if you have directional patterns that need to face a certain way. It's definitely easier to use non-directional patterns so you don't have to worry about which way you need to turn the paper on the card, but you may need to rotate your sketch in order to make it work if you need to because of the pattern on the paper. As I mentioned, you can download the current quarterly card challenge for free on my Patreon page. You don't have to join as a paid member. You can just sign up as a free member. And once you do, the link to the current quarterly printable will be shown at the top. And if you're watching this after March 31st, the new challenge will be pinned at the top. But if you join as a paid member, you will have access to previous challenges as well. This one will be archived as of April 1st. So in order to access archive challenges, you can either become a paid patron or purchase the digital downloads individually. And you can do that on my website at kindrescardchallenges.com. Members of my Patreon program help to keep the challenges free each quarter, so I hope you'll consider joining as a paid patron. Not only will you have access to this bonus printable, but you'll have access to others as well, starting at only $5 a month. If you're not familiar with my challenge, you'll want to check out the Challenge 13 introduction video. It explains all about entering, it shows how to cut the papers, and it gives details on all of the prizes that you can win for joining the challenge. I will have it linked in the description box below as well. Rather than sharing the card making process for all 15 cards, I'm just going to share five cards using card sketches one, two, and three from the printable. Now I've sped this video up quite a bit so that we can get through the five cards quickly and it won't be too long, but if you need to slow it down some, remember you can always change the playback speed on the YouTube settings. In addition to the Kendra's Card Challenge March bonus printable, I will have all of the additional products that I use listed in the description box below, such as the sentiment strips that I'm using here for sketch number one, plus all of the basics that I use on a regular basis when I'm crafting. So for this card number one using sketch one, I used a black card base and a yellow for the diamond and the strips. This is called a faux shutter card or fractured card. I've heard it bo called both things. And I'm using the daisy background paper and after adding the strips down I decided that it needed to be separated from the yellow diamond in the center so I added some black peel off stickers from Love From Lizzie. I was able to use up some of those shorter pieces. I glued the daisy in the center of the diamond and I added the thank you sentiment strip below that with some thin foam tape. While I finish up this card, I want to invite you to the March Super Sponsor Giveaway Hop that starts on March 2nd. The video team members will be sharing projects that they've created using the Challenge 13 card sketches and some amazing products from some of our company super sponsors. 
So um, be sure to check that out. I will have links posted in the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. There's more chances to win prizes if you hop along with us. For the second card using Sketch One, this one will be Portrait instead of Landscape. And since it's put together the same way, I'll just show the finished cards here in a second. But to embellish the first card, I used glossy black confetti pieces from This Calls for Confetti. And This Calls for Confetti is one of the Challenge 13 Super Sponsors. And I also used some black enamel dots from Cat Scrappiness. And Cat Scrappiness is also another a prize sponsor for Challenge 13, and those were used to embellish and finish off those cards. So for sketch number two, I'm going to rotate this sketch to be landscape rather than portrait, and I've used a chevron embossing folder on some gold cardstock for the panel that goes behind the diamond. And since I cut two sets of papers, I have another square or diamond that I could use, but I think I like the dots better. But I'll save the other one for later. It has the clubs and the coins on it. But I used the sentiment that says best of luck with a horseshoe on it. And then the two small pieces that are optional. I decided to cut those into banners and then glue them together angled slightly to put on the inside of the card. While I do this, I'll explain how to enter the quarterly challenge. First, you'll need to join the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group and then take a photo of all 15 cards and post it into the official entry photo album for the month you're entering it for. And you'll need to include your country of residence in your photo caption. There are monthly prizes and quarterly prizes and you can enter up to three times per quarter. For sketch number three, I'm making two cards, one with the daisy on those two little end pieces that go on that black strip. And I'm using the background, the forest paper for uh, this first one. And I just cut it to be four inches by four inches. And I layered it with some black cardstock that's just an eighth of an inch bigger. I think the assembly for this card and the second card for sketch three are pretty straightforward. I just wanted to mention that for the second card, I didn't use a bottom layer behind those two end pieces like I'm doing on this one. So you don't have to follow the sketches exactly. You can use the layers or leave them off. It's really up to you and what you prefer. The sketches are just meant to be a starting off point. But I'm going to put on some music while I put together the rest of these cards. So again, here are all five cards that I made with the March bonus printable and sketches one, two, and three from Kendra's Card Challenge number 13. I really hope you like them and I hope you'll join the challenge whether it be the monthly color challenge or the quarterly sketch challenge. And I hope you'll join the video team here on YouTube Saturday, March 2nd for the March Super Sponsor Hop. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.